Hi, I'm Ken DeSessa from Revelwood. We're an Adaptive Insights business partner. You know, finance teams often build very stylized reports for board books, monthly presentations, or maybe even an investor presentation. If you've ever had this responsibility, you know what a pain it can be to update change data in those Excel, PowerPoint, and Word documents. And of course, you always miss a number or two. Today, I'm going to be showing you Adaptive Insights solution to this type of reporting. It's called Office Connect and it allows you to connect your data from the Adaptive Insights planning solution back to Excel, PowerPoint, and Word. So if the data changes, these reports change. So let's get going. Here you see a very stylized Excel report. This report is made in Excel, but combines normal Excel formulas with adaptive data. The same is true for the PowerPoint document and Word documents. And we're gonna look at these just a little bit later, but here's just an example of what you're gonna see contained in those reports. In that case, it's a Word report. In this case, it's a PowerPoint report. You'll notice that on this ribbon is the words Office Connect. When I click on the Adaptive Cells button, you're going to see that some of these cells turn green and some of them highlight in blue. All of the highlighted cells are actually data coming from the Adaptive Insights platform. So all of the dates you see in the headers and all of these numbers are being brought in from the AI database. Notice these cells over here. They're just normal Excel formulas, the things you're used to using every day. Now let's say I need to roll this report into the next month. Right now you'll notice it's ending in the month of March. I'm going to take that off for you for a second. Ending in the month of March and going back six, six months. Let's roll it into the next month and I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. All I do is go to my properties, select my new date, hit OK, and refresh the report. You'll notice that the data has now changed from April and the preceding six months, and all the data contained within the uh, report itself was also changed. You'll notice that I've got some empty fields here. Um, what I'm going to show you now is how to connect these fields with the actual data in Adaptive Insights. So first thing I'm going to do is actually select these fields. Then I'm going to go into my data itself and find the corresponding accounts. In this case, they're in my operating expenses. I'm going to select them. I don't need that one. I need taxes and benefits, office expense, travel entertainment, marketing, and other. I'm going to bring them over. Now look what happened. When I turn on my Adaptive Cells button, all this data is now connected to Adaptive Insights. And when I refresh, the data is filled in. Now all that data you're looking at is connected to the Adaptive Insights solution. So now let's go into our PowerPoint presentation and see how we can update that. You notice that I go into my PowerPoint presentation. Everything is still in the month of March. You can see as we see on, the, on, on all our uh, formulas and our headers. So really all I have to do now is refresh this report and this data is actually connected back into that Excel report. And as soon as I refresh all that data, March now changed to April, and you'll notice that our numbers here changed as well. So all this data is updated to reflect the new uh, data, the new time period that we selected uh, back in the Excel spreadsheet. The same holds true for the Word document, so let's go in there and take a look. Notice this table in our Word report. The headers are still showing March data. But down here, we have these words showing an increase in $2.40. I wanted to point that out because in a moment, it's going to change. We can actually build a little logic into this report. So I'm going to refresh this report. And again, as I refresh it, you're going to see our data in this table change, but also look down at what happens to those words I showed you.
So all the, you can see our table now represents the April data, but you also know down the here that we now have a decrease of 35 cents in average sales. So we were actually able to build some logic in there that changed the wording from increase to decrease. So that wraps it up for today. You know, Office Connect is a great tool for finance to build great looking reports that are easily kept up to date. So thanks for joining. And don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more demos like this one, or reach out to us at our website, revwood.com, if you have any more questions.